Most of the tutorials out there will show you how to model structure in stand and the load application. But here is the thing, that if you validate these results with the fundamental concepts and the theory that we have learned during our graduation. See, they don't often connect the dots between the stat results and the core principles of the structural analysis and that's where students find a lot of difficulty in understanding and interpreting the results in the stat output. And that's where Civil Nirman stand out. Welcome back to Civil Nirman where we turn complex structural concepts into practical insights. Today we are diving into an exciting structural analysis problem and we will validate that sample problem with the manual calculation we will be working with the simple cantilever plate which is divided into 12 four noted finite element which is subjected to a uniform pressure load so let's check out this in stat model so let's check out this stat model we'll be working with a simple cantilever plate divided into 12 four noded finite elements subjected to a uniform pressure load so here is the stat model i am not going to much detail in the modeling part because all of you are aware with the modeling segment but i'll just give you a brief about how this particular segment i have modeled okay so let's understand this particular segment in the stat model as you can observe over here we have a plate length of 300 mm which is divided into six spaces of 50 mm each and similarly we have plate width of 100 mm this is 100 mm which is divided into two spaces of 50 mm each right so let's jump into the stat model so i'll quickly brief you about the modeling segment as we have discussed okay i'll give you a short segment one two three four five six plates right six and six total 12 plates in the vertical we have two portion 50 mm each right in the vertical part 50 mm 50 mm so this is 100 mm this is 300 mm uh, for the property segment i have implemented a 25 mm plate thickness uh, with the material segment right and you can check out the material property over here right now let's go to the loading part i have created one simple case only uh, that's based on uh, that is uh, the dead load only and i have implemented a 5 newton per mm square load in the local z axis as a pressure pressure on full plate that is 5 newton per mm square local z now see shift t is the shortcut if you don't know shortcut for your plates local axis okay so when you press shift t you can observe that x z and y all three local axes are visible over here all right and we have implemented this load in the z axis so this is my local z right and the support condition i have is one two three at three location it is fixed so ultimately it's a cantilever plate segment right uh, you can check this in the 3d as well right and i have added the analysis command as well so we just need to run the analysis and then we will check out the deflection part and the bending moment part right let me just show you the whole dimension right now let's run the analysis i'll run the analysis so once you run the analysis i'll go to the post processing mode and uh, see here is the displacement result that we have get i'll click on the summary option and you can observe now see as we have implemented load uh, in the local z right so uh, if i show you the uh, deflection pattern you can uh, easily get to know that how the plate is deflecting correct so in the local z we need to check our deflection see right so i'll go to the displacement tab again and you can see that maximum uh, deflection is 18 18.159 at this particular junction okay so this 18.15 we need to cross validate with the manual calculation now see for the bending moment part as you can see that for the cantilever you already know the bending moment diagram what kind of bending moment diagram it will generate right so we need to check the maximum moment at these locations correct so i'll click on the reaction tab over here and uh, you can observe that stat has given uh, the bending moment at these three location as well that uh, at that particular location only right 
location 1 8 and 15 these are the node numbers right now let me make it clear to you you can utilize this text option right select text option to move your reaction table and arrange this in the sequence right so see uh, at this particular node we have our bending moment now see we have implemented load in the local set right now as we have implemented that particular load in the local Z my bending moment will be the governing bending moment will be about Y right local Y M Y because see as the plate is bending in this direction that we have already sh shown you right so my governing moment will be M Y so M Y is the moment right so the total moment will be what 5.46 11.56 and 5.46 so if I sum it up 5.469 into 2 why it is 2 times 1 2 plus this particular moment 11.563 so I'm getting value as around 22.501 so that's my bending moment now see this particular moment we need to cross validate with our manual calculation so let's check out the manual calculation portion now as the beginner all of you are must aware with the simple calculation formula that we already learned during our graduation part so i'll just brief you on that see for the cantilever segment you can utilize wl cube divided by ati equation to ca calculate your deflection portion and the maximum moment is wl square by 2 right see now if as this particular segment what we have done we have implemented the uniform pressure on entire plates right so my maximum moment uh, over here the W segment will represent the total uniformly distributed load apply over the entire length of the cantilever so ultimately my W is W into L okay so uh, if I convert this entire segments moment my uh, the total bending moment equation will be W L by 2 ultimately your w is w into l so don't get confused with that right so the moment that i need to check uh, will be uh, w l by 2 right so let's verify this on the calculation portion right so the first segment equation is maximum deflection that you need to work out based on w l cube upon 8 ei so my equation is the delta max and I need to put the values in terms of the Newton and mm right so this is the equation and if I calculate this I'll get the value you can try yourself as well in the calculator you can get the value as 18.51 correct so this is clear this is the value that we are getting uh, in the stat model let me just show you again I'll go to the deflection tab summary 18.159 okay over here now let's switch to the maximum moment portion so for the moment as well as I told you the equation is WL square by 2 and the total W is actually W into L so my the overall equation will be WL by 2 and if I put value onto this I am getting value as 22.5 into 10 raised to 6 Newton mm okay so that's the maximum moment total moment that I have already given you the total calculation that we get in the stat model right over here in the reaction tab so for the MY portion if you sum it up your maximum moment will be 5.46 into 2 plus 11.56 also see our results are in KN into meter okay so 22.56 whatever the value that we got that is in KN into meter okay and through the manual calculation we got the same value in terms of Newton into mm okay so don't get confused with that 
see this simple example demonstrates how closely StatPro aligns with the manual calculation making it reliable tool for the structural analysis thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more such structural engineering insights and remember don't just learn software learn concepts thank you